Hi, my name is Lauren Hames, and I'm doing a Mojo story about international students and how they're finding work while studying in Melbourne. Melbourne is in the top 25 most expensive cities in the world. With almost 10 universities in the greater Melbourne area, many young people are striving for an education. But often, it is difficult to balance living close enough to university while affording the expenses of living in the city. Part-time work is readily available for those students struggling to make ends meet. But what if those students are in Melbourne for only a short time? I spoke with Nick Coe, an advisor for international students, about the reality of these temporary students finding work. Do you think it's common for international students to get employment while they're here? Uh, I'll say so. Um, most of the international students we encounter, they most of them will have a part-time job, but not everyone does. Okay. Nick explained some of the issues that international students have while seeking employment. They were trying to look for if it's just a part-time job at a, at a store, like a retail store, or something that's not okay. relevant to what they're studying, then um, I think it would be easier. Um, but for them to get like an internship kind of work, um, we did hear a lot of complaints that employers giving preference over um, local students. Okay. This dynamic creates a bubble where many international students are limited to excel in the workforce. This power dynamic can lead to unforeseen problems where these students may be forced to take work that could jeopardize their studies. So if they do cash in hand, um, that means the immigration won't be able to track the hours because you, um, you have a so you can only work 40 hours per fortnight. Okay. Um, for the international students, or most of the international students. Um, so if someone dot them in, that they are working illegally, right. or um, violating the, um, breaching their visa condition, then they will be, they can, visa will be canceled. Okay, so, so they could be very, sent home. Yeah, so it's quite risky as well. Right. Lizzie Johnston, a student on exchange from Scotland, found work at an on-campus restaurant. Definitely. And why did you get a job? They needed the money to stay here. And official way, or do you like? Are you getting paid under the table, or um, is it all? No, no, it's all official. Um, I get paid into my bank account. I'm not sure how official because I'm not getting taxed or anything. It's a full wage, so. But I think it's all legit. <laughs> Although her job status is somewhat unclear, Lizzie did get a tax file number from the Australian government, which does allow international students to get a job on the books. Here, another international student explains her reasoning for a job off the books. Cash in hand. Cash in hand. And how do you like that system? Do you think it's a positive one? Yeah, I like it. I feel like it's a lot easier to make mistakes as far as like payment goes, but it's very convenient since I've only been working there for like four months. Cash in hand jobs can be a convenient route for an international student to afford living in Melbourne, but at what cost will they risk their legal status in Australia? I'm Lauren Hames, reporting for Mobile Journalism.